Wow. What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the absolutely fantastic Torch Mod. So yeah, this Torch Mod I've got to say is pretty damn awesome. And it kind of has like a practical purpose, I guess, but it also has like a really, really fun purpose because there's a few things you can do with this that I think you're really, really going to like. Um, so yeah, there's actually three different items you can get in this mod. It's not a huge one, but it is made by the fantastic iChun who does amazing mods, so you, 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 you know it's going to be awesome. Right, so we've got the torch gun, we have the torch launcher, and we have the absolutely amazing torch rocket. So we're going to take a look at the more practical guns first, and then we're going to set off some rockets. Now we have these little ones here, which kind of, I'm going to show you the different variations, but then we have the mother rocket. <laughs> look at this bad boy, it's so big. I'm going to show you, oh, I might as well show you quickly just how big it is. Yeah, you <laughs> this is the mother rocket, and it's like twice my size. Um, so that should be quite fun. We're going to save that for a, a little bit later on in the video. Uh, so let's come over here. I've got a torch in the ground. you like it? And uh, yeah, let's go and check out these first. Okay, so this is the first one we're going to be looking at here, and this is the torch gun. So this is kind of like the most practical one, and this is your straightforward torch launcher. Uh, so this is how we make it. We just need two pieces of wood, we need four iron ingots, a piece of glass, and a gunpowder. The model for this is really, really awesome. And what this will do is it will actually take the torches from your inventory. So you don't need any special torches just yet, it's just the standard torches. And this thing does have a durability, because the idea is that it has like a flint and steel in it, and then the more times you use it, it ignites the torches and fires them. Um, so if your durability goes down, really straightforward, you just stick your broken torch gun in a crafting bench with a flint and steel and it will top it right up. Um, so yeah, I'm in creative mode here, so fortunately we don't need massive stacks of torches, but yeah, let's check out this model. Really, really cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on YouTube, um, but in the in the actual underneath the gun there, you can see like a little uh, metal, like a glass casing with loads of tiny little torches in. Really, really great modeling. Um, look at that bad boy there. Very, very awesome. Let's just turn it into night. So this is straightforward. It's just a right click and shoot. So when we fire it, boop, has this really nice sound effect and it will fire some torches. Boop. So there we go. Really straightforward. Now this mod is going to be awesome for lighting up big areas, something like this desert, especially if you're someone who likes to do lots of big builds. But of course, you know, sometimes it gets to nighttime and it sort of goes a little bit like this. It's nighttime, but it should be safe outside. Oh God. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it's going to be really, really great for setting up these big areas. But we also have a slightly, oh god, a slightly more sort of use, oh for god's sake, open the chest, there we go. Uh, we've got a slightly more useful one for covering large areas, and this one is the RPT Launcher. So how this is made is a dispenser, a piston, one piece of obsidian, four pieces of iron ingot, a yellow dandelion uh, die, and a piece of gunpowder. And as well as that, it doesn't actually take normal torches as ammunition. You're going to have to get these torch rockets. But they're kind of straightforward. You just need a load of torches around the side and a gunpowder, and then that will give you the torch rockets. Uh, now, this one covers like a larger area, basically. Um, so it works exactly the same as the other one, but it does have a very, very cool sort of bloop. Yeah, look at that. So, so cool. So it fires it up like a projectile, and then it explodes, and it scatters torches all over the place. So this is going to be really, really good for setting up those huge areas. Uh, let's just fire another one. Let's fire like a couple into the sky. Wow, it's amazing. Oh my god, so cool. So who needs fireworks when you've got these things? They're really, really cool. Once again, the model is awesome. You, oh my god, it's like a proper rocket launcher. So, so cool. And you can fire these like a pretty decent distance. Um, and they'll scatter all over the place, which is going to be awesome for keeping those mobs away. Right, so now we move on to possibly my favourite part of this mod, looking at the torch rockets. So these ones are kind of cool because you get to play around with the uh, sort of the quantities of these. So you can send them high, you can stack how many torches you want in them, and you can also do a few other bits and pieces. Um, See so yeah, if we open up this chest, they're, they're really easy to make actually. Uh, the torch rocket is just one torch and a piece of gunpowder above it, and it will give you the rocket propelled torch. And then when you've got this, you stick it down on the ground, and then you can actually kind of change it using gold nuggets and gunpowder. Also, you can ignite it with either a flint and steel, which is a slightly uh, slower one, I believe, or a, a redstone signal, which will fire it much quicker. I've not noticed too much difference myself, but we're just going to use this flint and steel for now, I think. 
So yeah, we've kind of got a few different examples. Uh, just quickly, like the ideal ratio for this is three torches to one gunpowder, and then that'll give you the best type of explosion. So this is one that I've actually done here, but I'm going to demonstrate. You just right click it down on the ground, and then, oh, we need some torches, 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 yes. So you just right click them, so one, two, three. You can also hold down your finger, and it will just stack through all your torches, and then you can do like one piece of gunpowder there, and then when you're ready, you just light it. And... It's never coming back. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, just a kind of small one just to show you what they're like. Very, very cool. And these will scatter torches over a huge area depending on how many you stack in. So I think this is another one, which is just sort of the, the basic one here. Da, 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 da. Very, very cool indeed. And if you do notice as well, oh, that's just a standard one. We'll set it off anyway. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, See, so yeah, that didn't have any gunpowder in it, which is why it didn't fly very high. Uh, but if you notice as well, when you light it, the gunpowder and stuff, they go away from the bottom, which I think is a really, really nice little effect. That was a bigger one. I stacked that with way more torches. Whoa. And as you can see there, it made a really awesome one. Now, as well as that with the, the nuggets, what do they do? Well, they kind of like change the way that they explode. So if you get the quantities right, I have no idea if I've got them right. I hope so. Uh, but it will change the way that they actually explode in the air. So let's give this one a go. Whoa! Jesus. <laughs> Um, I may have got that wrong. Yeah, I'm thinking a little bit too much gunpowder in this one, so hopefully this one might be a little bit different. I've got quite a lot of gold ingots in that. Hey, there we go. Perfect example. Whoa! Oh my god. So that's what you can do with the gold nuggets. So if you can go to 16, and then if you do certain quantities, it will change the explosion pattern. That one was awesome. That was a maximum of 16 golden nuggets. Let's just do one more of those. They're so cool. Uh, so let's go for, let's go for like, I don't know, let's just hold it down for a little bit. I'm guessing that's about 20, so let's just do maybe a few of those, and let's stick, like, maybe that many gold ingots in? I'm just guessing here, but hopefully that's kind of cool. See what it does. Hey! Another one of those. Okay, really, really cool. Now it leads us on to this. Ah, the Mother Torch. Whoa! <laughs> they just come down. Right, this is the Mother Torch. Now, this is the maximum stacked amount of torches, which is actually 512 torches, which is 8 stacks. Now, I've also done 16 um, golden ingots in there. You can't really see them. And then I've just literally loaded it with a ton of gunpowder. I have no idea what this is going to do. It's probably going to crash my game, but should we give it a launch? <sighs> Are you ready? I'm not sure I'm ready. Alright, let's go for it. Oh god, this is going to take some time. Let's stand back a little bit. Probably about there. Oh, how much gunpowder do I put in there? It's going. It's going. Oh, please be cool. <laughs> Tension. It's going to explode straight away, isn't it? Please don't explode straight away. Oh, it's off. Oh, my God. Did I get it right? It's too high to see. Whoa, my God. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that was awesome. But as you can see, what it's done is it's scattered torches literally over this entire area. And they're still falling. Wowzers. So, yeah, as you can see, we did all of this with that big torch, I think. And they've literally gone, like, since we've launched over there, they're literally as far away as kind of, like, here. So, really, really cool. That was eight stacks, a ton of gunpowder, and, like, a load of... Uh, gold ingots, but really, really fun nonetheless. I just love this mod. I think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of about it for this video, to be honest. Uh, nice little short mod, but Aichun does amazing things. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it too, then could you please remember to leave a like? If we could get over a thousand, I'd be incredibly grateful. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. Also, if you are not yet subscribed, why are you not yet subscribed? Go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya!